Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. My name is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson I'm going to show you how to create a tiled MySpace background. I've got a couple of photos in my photo tray. The first is an image of a pineapple. The second is of a flowering tree. I'm going to open up the pineapple so you can see it. It already looks tiled as a matter of fact. What I like to do, which is optional, is to crop my photo down to a smaller view. Select the Crop tool and then enter the aspect ratio you like or choose a size from the quick list. For a square tile, make sure the width and height are the same. If they're not, uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio or make sure it's unchecked and enter values that are the same and then check maintain aspect ratio and then drag the crop box to the size you would like. I'm going to move it around the screen and decide where I want to start the tiling. I'm going to center it right on that feature there. Double click to crop. Alright, it's ready to tile. Select effects Image Effects Seamless Tiling. That opens the Seamless Tiling dialog box where you can see the preview window and all of the settings. For this tutorial I'm going to use Edge Tiling for the pineapple and keep the direction set to bi-directional. If you had a very wide tiled image that you just wanted to repeat vertically down the screen you would check vertical. And by the same token if you wanted just to stretch that horizontally, check horizontal. Bidirectional means I'm going to have a small tile that's going to repeat both horizontally and vertically. I'm going to press OK to finish tiling. Now, this is a pretty large image. It's a 10 megapixel photo to start with. So I need to reduce that by selecting Image Resize and making sure that my resample box is checked you might not see that so click advanced settings and make sure resample using and I like bicubic that's fine make sure that is checked then enter new width and height 200 by 200 is a good size that's not too large press OK to resize the image now simply save it you can choose file save as or export it as a JPEG or GIF. Here we can set the compression ratio. Smaller is a less compressed image which will be a higher quality. If you raise that to 99 it's going to really look ugly and you can see the preview on the right. Values of 10 or so are virtually unde undetectable. Format is a standard JPEG and then you can see the download times. Press OK. Now we get to save it to the desktop. Now I'm going to rename this file to Tile Pineapple Edge. It's like save and overwrite my earlier copy. Now I can close this without saving the original photo. Now if I jump out to my desktop, I can double click this and see a preview in the, in the picture and facts viewer. At this point, you need to upload it to a file server or web site of your own and I've already done this to my website and you can see my URL here for this particular image. You also need to get into MySpace and get ready to edit your profile. Here's the style that I will include in that to make sure that I pick this pineapple image up and can see it. So I'm just going to copy this, jump over to MySpace and I've already logged in, you can see my page, go to edit profile and you can see the about me that's where I'm going to then type and uh, either type that in or paste it in this case I just pasted it and then I can do preview profile and that should pick up the pineapple image that I just created you can see how it tiles to the left and right and up and down I'm going to return to add interest and then create another example. This was a pineapple using the edge method. Now I'm going to create 
a different tile with my flowering tree. I'm going to focus on this large flower with some small stuff in the background. Crop that square. Choose effects, image effects, seamless tiling. Switch to corner. You can see how it looks different now. Leave bidirectional on. And I could change all of these settings, but frankly the defaults are pretty good. And select OK. Now I can export this or save it as a JPEG. Export JPEG Optimizer. 10 compression, that's OK. Now I'm going to go change the name here to Tile Tree Corner. And again, when you export, notice how the file name here does not change. So when I close this, I will not save it. So I'm not going to overwrite my original photo. Now, I'm going to simply copy the new text with a new name from my helper file and paste it in my, in my MySpace page. You can see the name now has changed. And preview profile, we should pick up the tree. Looks really, really nice. So if I want to keep that, I simply save the changes and then I'm done. All right, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.